Hi, welcome. Mike McMillan here, and I'm very excited about today's video because I'm going to tell you this is not hyperbole or overstatement. This could be the most important information that you ever watch on YouTube in terms of how to make more money with your YouTube videos, and you're probably interested in that. Most of us are. So this is a very important. Now what I'm going to do today, and I make no apologies, this is a long video. I know that. But I've watched a lot of videos on this topic and I was unimpressed. They talk in vague generalities, don't give you the specifics, and you're left in this state of confusion and frustration and you don't know exactly what to do. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Okay? So um, in today's video I have to tell you that this will be the biggest help to people who are making instructional or informational type videos. If you're showing people how to uh, go scuba diving, how to parachute, how to improve your singing voice, how to play a musical instrument, how to speak a foreign language, how to do home repairs, car repairs, how to have a better lawn, how to train your dog, how to train your kids, things like that, informational videos, instructional videos, you really need to be growing an email list from your viewers. Now, if you're making videos just for fun and you're making videos of your kids' birthday parties or uh, their graduation or family reunions or crazy things that you've cooked, crazy things that you've eaten, uh, if you're making gaming videos, I mean, those are all great things to do. I have no problem with that. Those are fun to make. But you're probably not going to get a lot out of what I show you today. Um, this is designed specifically for people who create informational type videos, how-to type videos on any topic, okay? I'm excited about this. I hope you'll stick with me all the way through this. This could be a huge, huge thing in your YouTube growth process, okay? Let's get started right now. Okay, so let's take a look at what some very, very successful YouTubers have to say about growing an email list. Here's Sean Cannell. He says, we talk all the time with our community that you need to be growing an email list. Franklin Hatchett, if you ask any business online what their most valuable asset is, I can guarantee they will tell you it's their email list. Sonny Leonarduzzi, I used YouTube to completely build my email list organically from scratch my first year to about 25,000. And Pat Flynn, the one big thing I would change if I could do it all over again is that I wish I could start my email list sooner. Okay, so that's what some very important, very successful YouTubers have to say about it. I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, well, let me show you exactly how this process works works. Here's one of my YouTube videos and I come on and I talk and I talk for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. And after a minute and a half what happens is I have built this graphic and this graphic pops up when I edit my video. I, I pop this in at about you know a minute and a minute and a half and it just says download my free 28 page ebook at the link in the description below this video. There's the ebook. A lot of people like that. It's a, it's a good ebook. Um, and they get this if they click on the link in the description below the video. Okay, and so I leave that up just for about 10 seconds, and then my video comes back on, and I talk for just you know the rest of the video, give them the info in the video. And when the video's over, if they come down to the uh, description below the video, I said there would be a link where they could download that ebook, and there's the link right there. So they come in, and if they click on that link, they're taken to a page. I show you how to make this page, I show you how to do all this stuff in just a few minutes here. Um, but they're taken to this page and it says put your email address in, click submit, and you will download my ebook will download to your computer. And so they put their email address in there and they click on submit and they get my free ebook. So they got something cool from me and I got their email address from them. So that's essentially how this process works. Okay, well, let's talk about why you should grow an email list from your YouTube videos in the first place. Okay, so to begin with, you can use an email list that you grow from YouTube to promote things that you have. Maybe you've got an ebook you'd like to sell. Maybe it's an online course, a membership site, webinars you do, maybe some services. Maybe you promote affiliate products to earn commissions. All of these things can be promoted to the email list that you grow. Okay. Now, a second thing is that you can announce new videos. Every time you post a new video up to YouTube, you can send it 
email out to your list, whether it's 10 people on your list or 100,000 people, and just say, hey, this is Mike. Thanks for watching my videos. I just posted a new one. Here's the link to that video if you'd like to check it out. Okay, something like that. And bang, right away, within two minutes, you'll start getting views to that video. That's a huge, huge thing. Another thing you can do is just send out use, useful information. You know, like once a week, just send an email out. Don't promote anything, anything like that. Just give them some use, two or three useful tips to whatever your niche or your videos are about. Make it uncomplicated, short, sweet, to the point, and just give them some good information to build a relationship with the people on your list. And then finally, one thing I'll show you how to do is inside your emails you can have polls. And if you've got a, a, a channel where you teach people how to play the guitar or something like that, you can put a poll in. Say, what type of guitar do you like to music do you like to play? Classical, blues, heavy metal, classic rock, whatever. And if you see that 85% of the people click on classic rock, that tells you maybe you need to make some more videos dealing with classic rock. This can be an extremely important thing and really, really help you out. Okay? So let's talk about what you need to grow an email list, exactly what you have to have in place. So let's look at that right now. But you need to have a domain name. You need to have a web hosting account, an autoresponder, and then you need to have some type of giveaway product, sort of a bribe type product and say, if you sign up for my list and join my list, then I'm going to give you this product for free. Okay? And those are the four things that you need to have. Okay, well, in this section, let me show you how to get a domain name and a web hosting account if you need one. Okay, so I came to HostGator. That's where I get my domain names and hosting accounts, and uh, it'll look like that. And then when you get to this page, it will look like this. They have three different types of hosting plans. Okay, and we're going to go with this uh, hatchling plan. That's the least expensive, but it'll work just fine. So what you do to get a domain name, you just I just made this up, Mike Testing. I'm going to get a new domain name. And right there, it says I can get that. I'm getting MikeTesting.com, just like that. Um, so, yeah. And then underneath, they give you choices. They say you can get MikeTesting.net, .org, all that stuff. And underneath that, <clears throat> there's a thing where it says add domain privacy. Make sure you read in the booklet about this. I'm not going to get this today, but I always do when I get a new hosting plan or domain name. Um, so down here, uh, you have a choice. You get it at a big discount if you sign up and pay ahead for um, you know, a year, three years, whatever. But I'm going to get it just for one month right there. It'll, it'll be month by month. They'll take out that $10 every month. Okay, so then just put in any email address you want to use, make up a password and put that in there, and create a security pin. You'll need that security pin if you ever want to get uh, support from HostGator, so write it down. Okay, and then your billing info. I'm sure you'd like to see my charge card info, <laughs> but uh, you can figure this out, and you just put your name in, your charge card, whatever you've got. Um, and then as you scroll through this, we're not going to get any of these. Make sure you read in the booklet, the free booklet I give you, what they do, but we're not going to get those. We're not going to get any of these things. Um, this can all this can add up to over $200 if you get all this stuff. <laughs> so we're not going to do that today. Now, they give you a coupon code. It'll give you about $5 off at the end, and uh, you don't need to do anything with that. Okay, now you can see down here that... Uh, the web hosting, the domain name was twelve ninety five. The web hosting was ten ninety five. So today, this is going to cost me twenty three dollars and ninety cents to get set up. You'll have to read the terms of service and the cancellation policy when you click that box. Now you can click on the checkout now, and when you do that, it says, "Whoa, get ready! We're setting up your account. We're building your HostGator account right there." So good. And then this page will pop up. If you want to fill this stuff out, you can. You know, if you want to, you don't have to. I click on that box. It, you don't need to fill this out. It's just, you know. Um, so you may see a page like this. It says build with WordPress. We're not making a WordPress site. Um, so when you do this, just click that and it'll go away. <laughs> this is called the customer portal. And uh, you can always get here at this web address up on top. If you type that in, put in your username and password, you can get in. And what we're going to do is where it says email accounts right here, um, we're going to click on that and go in and set up an email account in your domain. And you need to have that. So you can just, I just put in like Mike, 
so it'll be Mike at MikeTesting.com. That's all you need to do. And then you can put a password in <clears throat> and uh, record those things and then click on create account and it says account created. So now we've got an email address in there and I'll show you what we're going to do with that later but uh, that's all you have to do. Okay. Now once you've done that um, it says configure uh, email, you know, all this stuff. You can skip through that. You don't need to do that. So we'll come back here to this customer portal page and we'll click on file manager um, or launch pad, either one. It says loading your control panel. It's kind of exciting. Hey, this is inside your cPanel, your control panel. I'm going to click on file manager. <clears throat> and when I do that, as soon as I click on file manager, what's going to happen is it's going to show me what's inside my account. And it'll look like this. And if you click on this public HTML, um, you'll see something that, like right there. You click on that. This is what's in your web hosting account right now. You don't have to play with these. Don't open them. Don't play with them. But that's what's in there. Okay? That's all you have to do for right now. You can log out and we'll come back and, and do one other thing later. Um, but you're all done. Okay, well let's take a little breather. You've done really well. Um, and let's look at what we've done so far. Okay, we have set up a domain name we've got a web hosting account and we've created a domain based email that's the email that you would create inside of your web hosting account like I showed you okay now before finishing our project you would need to have created a simple opt-in bonus like like I mentioned earlier it could be a simple checklist it could be a small ebook don't go make a 300 page ebook <laughs> to give away as your opt-in bonus you know two to five pages that would be great keep it simple Okay, uh, create it, turn it into a PDF file, you know, to make it an ebook, and you'd be good to go. Now, this is, this is a graphic, an ebook and a graphic that I created to give away in some of my YouTube videos. Um, and this would be inserted, edited into my video after I shoot it. Now, let me just show you quickly how I went about making this, okay? Okay, well, I'm going to use Photoshop to make this graphic to show you how I did this. If you don't have Photoshop, don't worry. You could use almost any video editing application or try using a thing called GIMP at GIMP.org. It's free and it works on both PCs and Macs. This is what the home page looks like. It's, it's called GNU Image Manipulation Program. You can download it for free and they've got tons of tutorials in there to show you how to do things like this. Okay? Now, let me show you how I made my graphic. I'm in Photoshop, and I came in, and let me just show you. I made this 500 by 650 pixels. That's the size of the graphic that I'm going to make. And there's my canvas area right there. This I've already made this, but let me show you how I got that. So inside of Photoshop, the first thing I did, if you looked at that graphic, there's a black border around the whole thing. Okay, so I used my rectangle tool, I made this rectangle, and I want it to be a black rectangle, just like that. And um, so there we go. Now, when I look at this, that's not as thick as I want. So I come up here and I change it, I make it a little bit thicker up there, and I end up with this. Now I'm gonna move this so that it just covers the inside of my canvas area, just like that. Okay, so I've done that. Now, I've got this black area on the bottom, um, and so what I would do is what I did is I came in here like this, I made another rectangle with my rectangle tool. This time up here, um, I'm going to make the fill black, okay, just like that. I'm going to take the stroke out so there's no outside border on it, and now you can see I got that black area. Um, the next thing is I'll come in here. I've got to make some text in here and it, the text said the hidden What was it techniques? Okay, just like that um, Now this is came out red. I want that to be white So I'll use my color picker. I'll make that white text and it looks Just like that now. I want to center this a little so I'll take my move tool move that down a little bit and there we go. That's how I got that part. Now I've got an image of myself. I've got that on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I will come in um, here and I'm going to drag that in from my desktop. There's that image of me right there. 
and I guess it was eh, maybe something like that. It was about there, okay? And um, now see it covers, that image covers some of the black down on the bottom. So I'm gonna go to my layers panel and I'm gonna take that layer with me in it and I'm gonna move it down below that black layer so that's back behind there so I'm not covering that black up in there. I guess I'll move it up a little bit. So that's how I got that in there. Okay, now I have this text that says with Mike McMillan. So again, I'll take my text tool right here and I'll come in and make a, uh, let's see, yeah, with Mike McMillan. Um, I'll make a text area right here and I'll type in with, uh, I wanna make that black. So let me use my color picker again. I'll make that text black. So it says with uh, Mike McMillan and I'll hit return, Mike, and then M-C-M-I-L-L. -L. And I don't have enough room in that text area. So I'm gonna highlight that again, widen it out so it can all fit in there with Mike McMillan. Now that's um, too big. So it was 60 pixel or 60 point text. I'm gonna make it 45 point text, that looks better. So now I can take this, move it over. Now you can see the, the last letters, L-L-A-N, um, cover my jacket and they don't show up. So what I'll do about that is um, I'll select that layer and I'll come into my layers panel. And uh, no, I, I don't wanna do that. I wanna come up to layer style in my menu and go to blending options right there and come down to stroke. That'll make an outline around my text. And I'll double click on that so I can come in here and I wanna make a white outline around my text. So I select white and uh, there we go. And now you can see the AN at the end has got white around it and that looks pretty good. So now I need this red area up on top. I'll use my rectangle tool again. I'll make another rectangle. This time, if you noticed, it just covered the top of my head right there. And I'll make that area red um, yeah, just like that, okay? And now it covers my head. I need to move that red rectangle down below the layer with my head. It has to go down one more thing, right below my head layer. And now you can see that, uh, yeah, my head is in front of that red area, just like that. So we're almost done. I've got to put some text in the top. I'm gonna to widen this out just a little bit there. There, that looks... That looks a little better. And um, so let's see here, I need to move that down. Okay, so we're all set. Now the only thing I've got text on the top it says higher YouTube rankings. So what I'll do now is come in here and I'll take um, my text tool again. I'll make another block of text up here and I'll make it say higher, whoops, try that again. Higher uh, YouTube rankings, just like this. And that's black text, I wanted it to be white, so I'll highlight it and uh, I'll come up to my, let me close that down, I'll come up to the color picker again, um, get that out of there. And right here, see the spacing between the lines is 60 pixels, and I wanna make that bigger, I'm gonna make it 75. Now watch, see how that spaced the lines out, made it a little bit better, and uh, that looks good. The only thing is this is white text and I had a black st stroke around that. So I'll highlight that and I'll come into my layer style blending options and I want to put a black stroke around that. So I'll click on the stroke, double click on this, click on the color picker and I'll make that black and uh, that should work out okay. So I'll do okay, let's look at that. That isn't quite thick enough. So I'm gonna come in and change it from whatever it was. I think it was two point text. Now it's, I changed it to something bigger. I can't remember what it was, but, and basically that's what I did. So now I'll save this and I'm just gonna call this cover. It's a PSD file, Photoshop document. Now I'm gonna save it as a PNG file and I called it cover and I'll save that on my desktop. I'll click OK. And so I got that graphic done, OK? So that's very, very good, but I'm gonna make one more graphic that just takes a second to do. I'm gonna make it 1280 by 720 pixels. And um, 
this is going to go inside my YouTube videos. That's why I made it those dimensions. Those are dimensions of my YouTube videos. So uh, here's, here's what I've got. And in this new graphic, <clears throat> this will go into my video, actually, after I shoot my video. Here's the graphic I just made. So I'm going to drag that in and put that inside of ScreenFlow. You don't have to use ScreenFlow. Whatever you use to edit your videos, you could do this with. But, okay, so I put that graphic in there. And then what I'm going to do is take my text tool right up here, add some text, and I'm going to make the text black. So I'm going to make it say, get my free 28-page ebook um, by clicking the link in the description below this video, just like that. And that's what I want. I'm going to put that inside of my YouTube video later. So click that. Um, I think I'll take my Move tool. I'm just going to move this over a little bit, make it centered a little bit. And again, I'll save this one, and I'll save this. Let's call it... Uh, Oh, let's call it tube graphic. And again, I'll save, save it as a PNG file right there. And uh, we'll use that in a couple minutes. So right there. Okay, we are getting very close. Okay, hooray. <laughs> so stick with me for a few more simple steps and we'll have you up and running um, on your YouTube videos. Okay, now the next step depends on your particular situation. Let me show you what I mean. If you already have a domain name and an existing web hosting account, you know, you've got like a website up someplace or a blog or whatever, um, and you want to use that, that's fine. We can make that work for you. Um, you can skip this next step that I'm going to do. The next step is just for people who have either have or are going to get a new domain name and a new web hosting account. Um, and if you've already got that, you can skip this next step. Okay? So if that's the case and you've got a website and a domain name, then go ahead and fast forward, move to the section titled Uploading Your Bonus Product. Okay? You can go there and then I'll be there in just a minute. Now, if you've obtained brand new uh, domain name and web hosting account or you plan to, follow along with what I'm going to do right now. Okay? First, go to the description below this video and you'll see a link and it says Mike Gifts S3 Amazon AWS com, dot com opt in folder zip. There's a zip file in there. Okay? You don't have to opt in to get this thing. Just click on it. It'll download onto your computer. Okay? And so when you find that, drag it onto your desktop. Just drag it someplace where you can see it on your desktop very easily. Okay? And then double click on that and it should extract or open up and the zip file sort of unfolds and all the stuff that's in it will show in a folder. There will be four files in there that I've created for you. You don't need to write any code. You don't need to do anything. Don't try to click and open these. Just keep that folder on your desktop because we're going to need it in just one second. Okay? So now we have to make one final stop at your cPanel um, because we're going to do something in there with these files and let's do that right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come up here. I'm going to go back into my cPanel and you could do this with yours and I'll type in this uh, where it says portal.hostgator.com slash login and when I go there, um, the page that opens up, it asks me for my email address I used when I signed up. So they ask me for my email address and a password to second, but it says it's loading my customer portal right here. It takes just a second. And so we're back where we were before, and it says launch cPanel. Um, I can do the launch cPanel or I can do the file manager. I'll launch my cPanel. And uh, it takes just a second. It's loading my control panel right here. And there we go. And this should look familiar. We were in here earlier. And the only thing I'm going to click on is where it says File Manager. Okay. And under File Manager, right here, it says Public HTML. Okay. And I'm going to double click on that. And this is what I see. Now, you're going to have two other files in there that I don't have in here. Um, you'll have two other files in there. So then what we need to do is go back into that folder that says uh, opt-in folder. This is that zip file we downloaded and we unzipped it right here. And we need to load all four of these things into this place right here. Click on upload right here 
it says drop files in okay right there and it says uh, right down here it says successful okay that uploaded and then I can do the next one I'll drop that in that uploaded I'll drop the next one in can't see it but that uploaded and I'll drop the last one and you don't need to worry what these are I'll show you in just a second and then I've got that so I can close this down now okay <clears throat> so now right here I can close this window down and right here I'm gonna hit reload command R on a Mac I'm gonna reload this and um, where it says public HTML see these are those files that I gave you inside that zip file one says desktop phone tablet and one says index the reason the only reason we're uploading these you have to have a thing called an index file in a blog in a website anything you set up because any browser you use it's gonna look for an index file it's like your home page and if you don't have one in there people that try to go there they're gonna get an error message and other bad things can happen so you need to have an index file I want yours to look just like this these CSS files just kinda of control the way it looks and everything you don't don't need to worry about that at all okay now don't close this down because we're gonna come in here we're gonna upload one more thing okay okay so while we are still in our um, public HTML file um, or folder in that area there's one thing left that we want to do and I'm gonna come back up here to where it says upload again okay we're gonna upload one more file now I know you don't have this yet you'll have to do this later on but once you've completed your opt-in bonus your bonus giveaway product your ebook whatever it is um, then we need to upload that into this area and so I have this right here okay this is the bonus thing that I'm giving away and um, so that's what that is and so now it says drop files here so I'll just move that over there and uh, it's called tube rankings and there it's uploaded okay so I can close this down and now you see it doesn't show up but you have to reload this every time you do something in there and if I hit on a Mac if I hit command R it reloads this and now if I go into my public HTML folder there it is tube rankings okay I'm in Aweber right now and you can come down here at the bottom click sign up and create a new account and you just put your name email address in we're creating your account right there and then whoops it says log into your Gmail account okay so I do that and they want me to go to my Gmail account that's what I use to sign up with and I just got an email from Aweber right there it says your account is ready it's been created um, use that Gmail account to log in so now when I come back to Aweber right here I can put in um, create a password and I put my email in I make up a password and I click save the password right there okay so now that I've done that we have to decide on a plan we're gonna use a free plan right there and go to continue um, and then let's get you up and running okay and they ask a couple questions uh, you know they want your address you have to have an address you can use a PO box that's what I use or physical mailing address like a street address so right there I put in my post office box uh, my city zip code all that stuff you just put that in they need to have that click on continue um, do you already have email subscribers doesn't matter what you put in they just want to know about you so whatever you want to put in is okay what are your business goals same thing just put anything in it doesn't really matter um, and then you can click on skip if you want to if you don't want to do this just click on the skip and then what we need to do now we're in our dashboard okay and we're gonna come up here to where it says lists you can name it whatever you want to nobody's gonna see that it's really just for you um, and you can fill that out and then from the name and address and so what you need to do is put in your name and put in this is where you want to put in the uh, uh, email that you set up in your domain that you got don't use a gmail account or hotmail or anything free like that you want to have a domain based 
email in there. Um, you'll get better deliverability of your emails if you have a domain-based email rather than like a Gmail account. Okay, so you put that in. That's the email address you created in your domain that we set up. Okay, and notifications, <clears throat> uh, they will notify you every time you get a new subscriber. And you can scroll down through there, and then it says save all settings. Okay, so we're all set up there. And then we can come to personalize your list. You don't need to do this. I wouldn't recommend it. It's just something else to get in the way. I wouldn't do that. Um, and then confirmation message. This is important. And what this is, you can scroll through there, and you can um, edit this. But this is a page that's going to pop up. It says, please click the button below to confirm that you'd like to receive email from. That's a confirmation message. They use like a two-part um, opt-in thing where somebody opts in, they put their email address in a form, they get an email, and then they have to confirm that they want to get an email from you. It prevents people from saying, hey, this guy sent me email. I never signed up. Well, there's a record here then that you did sign up. Now, this one is important right here. It says custom success page URL. What this is, is when somebody signs up for your list and you've created that free bonus for them uh, that you're going to give away, it's a checklist, an ebook, whatever it is, and you've uploaded that to your web hosting account, okay? Um, we've done that. And this, in this case, uh, it's an ebook that I created. And so when I put this in right here, see, that's my domain, Mike testing.com and the name of that file I uploaded was tubebrankings.pdf. So when you put this in here, uh, what's going to happen is when somebody joins your list automatically, bang, just like that, this will download and they will get their free download. You don't have to send individual people your bonus product, your giveaway product, your opt-in product, okay? It will download to them automatically when they join your list. So that's what you're putting in there. Um, and that's important. You have to have that in there to make this whole thing work. Okay. Now we need to create what we call a landing page. This is how we'll collect emails from subscribers. So what we'll do is come up to landing pages. This is important because the link to this page is going to go on your YouTube video. Um, and you can scroll through. They have all these templates already made up and you can just pick one. Okay, see that one right there? I'm going to pick that. I like that because it'll work. It'll look nice. So here's a template they've already made, but we want to change some things. Um, and right up here, I don't want it to say logo, whatever up there. You can click on delete and it takes that out right there. There's this box here. Click on that. That'll delete that. Right here, I want to change this to text that I want to use. And what I would do is to get the free ebook I mentioned uh, in my video, just input your info and click submit. Okay? And uh, I got a little mistake there. There we go. Um, and then, so this down here, I don't want that. I'll delete it. Um, those, I'm not going to put anything in there. Um, and then um, this, the reward for signing up. Okay, I don't want that. I'm going to take that out, delete that. I'm deleting a lot of this stuff. Here's where they can put their name and email in and click. I could change where it says sign up to uh, submit if you want to, but whatever. So this is what I've got then. All right. Now, here's a picture of this girl that's built into the template. But I'm going to take what this is. This is this graphic that I built. Uh, sort of an image of my ebook that I can put in there so that they remember from my YouTube video, you know, what it is they're getting. So you just drag that in there and uh, that's all set. <clears throat> okay, so once we've done all that, down below there's some extra things. We're not using any of those. I'm taking that box out of the bottom. I'm deleting all this stuff that's down below and you just have to scroll through. There are some people that might want to use some of this stuff. We're not interested in that. So we delete everything that we can down there and then we end up with this. Okay, so once we've done that, then and we've got this all set, this will be our uh, what they call a landing page or our sign up form. Okay, so then what we'll do is come in here and once we've created that, um, this page will pop up and I didn't title this, so they just called it Untitled Landing Page. That's fine. <clears throat> 
okay? And what I'll do is click on publish right there. And now it's published, it's online. And that, uh, this is the link that you would have to use um, on your, in your YouTube description for people to click on. Now, notice how long this Aweber link is. This link takes people to that sign up form, but I would never use that. It's so long and scary. You know, nobody's gonna click on that. It's just too scary. But here's what you can do, okay? You can go to a place called Bitly. There are other URL shorteners out there. A lot of people on YouTube, big creators use Bitly. Um, and if you go to Bitly, what you can do is you can put your long, scary looking link in there, okay, in, uh, in the box there. And when you put that in there, you would put it right in this box and then click on create down at the bottom, okay, right down here. You click on create. And when you do that, when you click on create, then what happens is you get a link down here and it's shortened it. It's turned it into a bit.ly link. And that's what this is right here. And it's very short. And I'm gonna click on copy and it will copy that link for me. Here's what it is. I made it bigger so you can see it. This is the bit.ly link. And this is what we can put in the description in our YouTube video. It's nice and short. So I'm gonna put that bit.ly link right up here. Click on it. And once I do that, bang, there is our sign up, our landing page, our opt-in page right there. Okay, see how neat that is? And now somebody could come in, I'll put my name in there, I'll put my first name, Mike, I'll put my email in here. And uh, here, I'm gonna just use my Gmail account, that's fine. And they will get this sign that says you're almost done. You need to open your email account and click on the confirmation email that we just sent you, okay? And once they do that, look at right there. It says, Mike McMillan, okay, that's me. It says, confirm your subscription. Everybody will get a confirmation email like that. So you click on that. Here's the download icon on my page and something just downloaded. What do you think it is? Well, right here and look what I got. There's the free ebook that I got right there. So it all happens automatically. So that's the way it works. Okay. Hey, we're almost done here. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to um, incorporate what we've done so far into a YouTube video that you're creating and uh, allow you to grow an email list uh, with that. So I use ScreenFlow when I edit my videos. Okay. And it only works on Macs. You probably don't have it, but you know, anything you use, any software you use to edit your videos, you can do this with. So what I'm going to do, let me just show you something. Let me open this image up. Remember I showed you exactly how I made this in Photoshop and how I made this graphic here. This is an ebook I'm going to give away if they join my email list. So um, this is a graphic I made and this was 1280 by 720 pixels when I made it in um, uh, Photoshop so that it would fit into my video, you know, just right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image that I created right here and I'm going to stretch this out so that it's here. Let me just go back here, um, stretch this out a ways. And right here, that's the start. And I'm going to move this over. And you can see right here, this shows that's about 10 seconds right there. So I've got about a 10 second clip right here with that graphic in it. And I'm going to stretch this out so we can see it a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to come in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. And as this plays, I'm just going to do a voiceover. I'm just going to record my voice. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to stop this, go back. And as this plays, I'm going to um, do a little voiceover with this. So I'm going to record my voice as this plays. Okay. Get my free 28 page ebook at the link in the description below this video. Just click on the link and you can download my ebook completely free. Okay, now that I've done that voiceover and I've saved that clip, now I've opened up a new ScreenFlow document right here. And all I'm going to do is it's a blank document. There's nothing in it, okay? All I'm going to do is take this clip. This is a video I shot uh, just a few minutes ago. The sound's not great. The 
you know, the video's not great, but we just, I just wanted a, like a minute clip that we could use, okay? And what this is, is pretend that this is your YouTube video, okay? And I wouldn't make a one or two minute video, but, you know, I make them five or ten minutes or longer. But, um, yeah, so pretend this is your video. Okay, so here's a video clip we can use, <clears throat> okay? Now, because I've watched this several times, I know that right about here, I just want you to listen to this. So easy to do and so easy to implement that I think you'll have fun with this, okay? Now, right after I say okay, there's about a one second pause before I start my next comment. Okay, this is a good place. I typically do this somewhere between one minute and two minutes in my YouTube videos and I break into my video with my offer to join my list. <clears throat> so what I do is in ScreenFlow if I highlight the clip and I hit T it splits the clip. Now I split the clip into two different parts. Okay and what I'm going to do is just watch this. This is the the little voiceover I did with that graphic. I'm going to take this and drag it. I'm going to drag it right in here. It's about a 10 second clip. Okay and so I'll move that back over. So all I've done is interrupted my video for 10 seconds with this sort of advertisement for my free ebook, and then it starts up again. So let's watch and see what happens here. Okay, first somebody, someone is watching my video. And then right now, get my free 28 page ebook at the link in the description below this video. Just click on the link and you can download my ebook completely free. And then my video starts in again. So all I've done is inserted that 10 second clip that I made inside of my video, you know, between a minute and two minutes, something like that. I don't like to do it too far into the video because some of the people, hopefully most of the people watch it all the way through, but some of the people will click off before they get to it if you put it at 10 minutes or eight minutes or something. So I like to do it early, but not before a minute and not after two minutes. So, you know, something like that. So this is what I've got. This would be the video then that I would upload to YouTube. And I would obviously make it more than a minute and 14 seconds, 50 seconds, whatever it is. But this is how I would get my ad to come into my YouTube video, just like this. So now let's go into YouTube and show you exactly how to set up your description, what you need to do to put that link in your description so that they can download this book and join your list. Okay, good. Okay, so I have come inside YouTube and I'm gonna upload a video. You've seen this page before. And what I'll do is take the video that we created. This is my two minute video uh, with the opt-in offer inside. And what I'll do is I need to name this. So I will just come up here and I'm gonna call this, um, we can call it anything, Mike's uh, sample video. Okay, we'll just call it that. So you put a title in just like this. Okay, and then we come down to where the description is right here. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, download the free ebook that I mentioned in my video at the link below. Okay. And right here, you can tell this is that link that I got in Aweber to the opt in page. Okay. And um, remember, it was very long and kind of awkward looking. But if I come into a new browser window, and I go to that page, see this is that opt-in form that we created inside Aweber and somebody could put their name in, their email in, click submit. Okay, I don't want to use that link because it's very, very long and uh, in Aweber if you use those templates you get a long uh, link like this. So what I am doing is I went to, uh, remember I showed you how you could go to Bitly and change a very long URL to a very short one. And so what I did is I put in that Bitly link right there and I just want to show you if I, uh, you could put a description in there if you'd like to, um, you know, do that. And then um, let's see here. Uh, we're not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna make this unlisted. I don't want anybody to. You put public, but uh, I don't want anybody to uh, come in and find this. They wouldn't understand what it was. Okay, so I put unlisted in there, and then um, after that we will come in. Let's see. 
Okay, that's all okay, so I'll save this. And once it's saved, I'm not gonna do anything with this, I'll close this down. And now I'm in my uh, YouTube studio. There's the video that I just uploaded right there. And there it is, okay? And I'm gonna click on it so it actually plays on the YouTube player right here. And as soon as it loads, there is my video, okay? And um, so what I'm, what we'll do now is, let's watch this, let me click on this. There's my video, I've turned the sound down so that I'm not talking over myself, but that's how my video plays. I'm gonna move the scrubber bar over until I get to about a minute, and let's watch this and see what happens. Get my free 28-page ebook at the link in the description below this video. Just click on the link and you can download my ebook completely free. Okay, and then my video starts again. So what I've done is I put that form in there, that graphic in there, and now if somebody comes down here and they read this and they click on that link, there's my bit.ly link right there, and if they click on this, it takes them, see, to that same opt-in form. Somebody can put their name in, they can put their email in, click uh, submit or sign up, and when they do that, they go into my AWeber account, and I've captured their name and email address in my autoresponder account, and now I can send them emails whenever I would like to, okay? So that's exactly how that works. Finally, let me just show you how to send an email out to your list of subscribers. Whether you have one subscriber, 10, or 100,000, the process is the same. So I just logged into my AWeber account right here. And if you want to send an email to your list, you can just click on Create a Message. Click on Drag and Drop Email Builder. That's what you should use. And then the page that comes up is a place where you can send out an email. Um, up here, you need to have a subject line. Um, here is something useful you can use today. Whatever you want to type for your uh, subject line. And then I'm going to come in here. I've already typed up a message that I want to send out uh, in a text document. I'm just going to paste that message in. And it looks like this. And one thing is, this comes up in 12-point text. That's way too small to send uh, as an email. So I like to send emails that use 16, probably 18-point text. And then, because I used a text edit thing without formatting, um, I'm going to create some spaces in here. And uh, between some of these sections, very quickly, just like that, like that, like this. So this is the email that I want to send out. And thanks for watching. Here's a new video I posted. There's a link to the new video. Um, I put some useful information in there just to keep my people, you know, interested in opening my emails. So yeah, and I will click on save. So I'm going to save this message. It's been saved. Then I'll go to save and exit right there. Okay. And here's the email. Before I send this, one thing I do before I send it, I click on that spam score. And you can see right here, I've got a score of zero. That's perfect. It means it's not spammy looking. It won't go into a spam folder, a junk folder, most likely, anything like that. So it's safe. If it's above five, you need to work on it. And you've got some crud in there you need to take out. So uh, yeah, I always check that um, before I send an email. You can also click on send a text and send it to yourself and then just check it out in your email account, anyone that you use, and see, make sure it looks right to you, okay? So then we'll go to schedule right here. Don't play with this. Uh, everybody on my list, I wanna send it to all the active subscribers. Um, when should it be sent? Immediately, you can say send it tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m., whatever, but uh, we'll send it immediately. And then don't play with these, these should be checked. And it says send message now, send it now, and bang, right here, we have sent this message out. It takes a minute or two maybe for it to get out there, but um, in the process right now, it's sending emails out to everybody on my list. I only have one person on my list, that's me. But um, if you've got a whole bunch of people on your list, it could take a minute or two for them all to get out there. And that's how you send an email out to everyone that's on your list. It's just that easy. Well, thank you for watching this video. It's been a long one. I appreciate your attention. And as always, you have my very best wishes uh, for tremendous success for all that you do on YouTube. If you have any questions, um, just ask.
down below. Okay, you guys take care. You're all great.